Today we had a meeting with representatives of Kherson municipality and the heads of Starostin counties of Zelenivka, Stepanivka and Antonivka, villages that are part of the Kherson territory of Romada. The purpose of our visit was to assess the situation with drinking water in the field. We intend to continue the project of emergency water supply in Mykolaiv. We hope that this will become a natural continuation of our cooperation with the big international donor, International Organization of Migration, which will provide an opportunity for the vulnerable population in the, ports, in the settlements affected by the hostilities to get access to clean drinking water. Among the settlements that we are considering, the most desperate situation is in Antonivka, where there are only two boreholes that work with the assistance of generators. They are brought each day and they can function four hours per day. Unfortunately, the security situation does not allow the restoration of electricity supply there because the village is located in the frontline zone. On the other side of Dnipro River, Russian troops are based and they are conducting an artillery shelling of Kherson and surrounding villages. Due to the military operations, approximately half of the local population left their homes. But after the liberation of Kherson last November, they keep trying to come back to their houses. The situation is urgent and it's precarious. And we have specifically asked, Mission 1040 was specifically asked to come to Kherson to the outlying areas that are most vulnerable to try and help the people there to get fresh water, drinking water. Just a note, during our visit today, in the middle of the day, we repeatedly heard explosions in artillery. This is a war zone. The people are doing the best they can to take care of their, their community and each other. And we want to help, and we need your help.